Well, thanks. Yeah, well, just um, you know, to, to chat a little bit about about the the uh, you know the brands you're building up. I saw you've got this, there's two new products in Tesco under the Fish Said Fred brand. I think one is a is a Bream product and one's a, a Cod product. Um, I wonder if you could tell us a bit about you know how that's going and then what's coming next with that brand. Yeah. So, Fish Fish Said Fred. The whole um, the whole thinking around Fish Said Fred is we're really trying to make fish more accessible in that center of category uh, space um you know it's it's fascinating uh, getting out and talking to consumers and 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 listening to how people talk about the fish category they see it as quite an austere quite a serious category quite sort of library like and and what we've really tried to do with fish said fred is to address that center of category uh, you know that that family uh, occasion as well and take some of the angst and fear uh, out of uh, cooking and preparing fish. So, you know, we want um, decent um, uh, portion sizes. We want accessible cuts. We want to take some of the, the fear out of it. But actually, it's a lot of what we're putting around Fish Said Fred. So, um, you know, we've majored on um, the kind of recipe ideas and suggestions uh, on, our, uh, on our digital platform. We're trying to have, um, you know, some playful dialogue with consumers just to promote them in store with some of the banners and things you'll see. It, it's this idea that, you know, the answer to everything is fish said Fred. So, you know, we're, we're trying to capture people when they're in that moment of, well, what shall I have for dinner? Um, we've, we've done a sponsorship deal with uh, Steph's Pack Lunch on, on Channel 4, where we've been sponsoring that through over the last sort of four weeks. And I think that runs for a, um, a, a full quarter where, you know, we've got a, a, a lot of our core audience are watching uh, Steph's Pack Lunch. And again, we're just trying to make sure that, you know, fish is featured once a week on that, on that program. And um, we're just trying to provoke people and, and promote this idea that fish doesn't need to be scary uh, it can be very accessible so you know we've captured uh, I think the imagination of some of our customers on that journey so far and um, you know our plans are really uh, just to build um, build gradually but ultimately uh, what we're saying to our customers is that the more support and and distribution that they're able to uh, put behind fish and Fred the more we we can uh, prepare to invest as well above above the line to really hopefully start to change how people think and feel about fish. That's really what we're, we're setting out to do. Okay. So is there, is there going, to, going to be more products coming in Tesco or is it, is it going to be these two for now? Yeah. So we've got, um, we have, uh, we have a sea bass uh, product. I think there's actually four products. Uh, in right. um, yeah. There's a, uh, I only saw two online. Maybe it's some available just in store. Yeah. So we have, we have, we have a whole, a whole sea bass and a whole bream. And then we have a, a, a a really delicious cod fillet. We have a um, a sea bass. Uh, we have a large sea bass fillet, but I think the the other value added product we have in Tesco Tesco is a top sea bass in a sort of foil tray recipe. So we we're, we're looking at um, we're looking at a number of um, uh, products uh, development and innovation. But actually, one of the things that we've been saying to our customers is actually fundamentally this isn't about needing lots of multi-syllable uh, recipes um, here. This is actually about how we stimulate people just to be thinking about fish and giving that confidence. The best piece of fish is usually a bit of salt and pepper and just deliciously cooked, but people, there's some real barriers. People have this kind of fear or imagination that it's way harder than it is, and that's a lot of what we're trying to break down. And um, brands don't need to be functionally that uh, new or different, but what they can do is they can build in a level of emotional connection and awareness that that can transform the uh, the overall consumer experience, and that then benefits the entire entire category. Um, you know, of course, we're we're, we're keen to to to, to promote uh, fish said Fred, but actually, the overarching goal is to get more people eating more fish more often, and and that's the mission that we're on. Yeah, well, well, thanks, Dan. Then on on Leap, is there anything to report on the progress of that um, in terms of how that that kind of that brand's rolling out? Yeah, so I mean, Leap is 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 obviously occupies that that premium space where we really are championing the very best of wild, sustainably caught fish. So the belief, it's a challenger brand. The belief is that the best fish swim free. Um, now, obviously, New England's we're very pro aquaculture as a as a business. We have a huge proportion of our business uh, in farm fish, and we know that farm fish is essential to feeding future generations. But what we're really trying to do is to to draw that distinction that you know. The, 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 we know the pressure on wild catch resource. We know there's a finite um, at level to which we can sustainably harvest seafood. And I think we have a responsibility as an industry to make sure that we harvest 
fish sustainably in the right way in an ethical way but that, that actually when we pull the fish out of the sea we're we're really taking care of the condition in which it's it's pulled out of the sea and then you know we have a responsibility through how we maximize the value of the entire carcass um to to, to get the greatest value for what's a really precious resource and what we're trying to do with leap ultimately is really build again that emotional connection into the very best cod loin or you know the chunky tuna steak um uh, or the most amazing you know authentic you know canadian wild smoked uh, alaskan salmon and you know it's early days um uh, still with 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 leap uh, as it is with fish so but what we're seeing is that you know the brand is pulling in really premium shoppers and it's encouraging them to to, to spend more uh, these are high value shoppers for our uh, customers and it's it's got some really nice um repeat rates so we're at a stage where um we're working on the background on some really um i think you know uh groundbreaking creative to tell that story uh, and this is really definitely a long term uh, bet that we're making as a as a group um we do think that leap could travel well uh, beyond uh, beyond these shores because we think the, tr the truth is a universal one and um, we think it could resonate really well as well with um, with us customers so that's something we're looking at but fundamentally we've got a load of untapped growth opportunity here in in the uk and um you know through 2022 what you'll see is you'll see us start to put our heads above the line with um with leap just as we have done recently with with fish head fed on on steph's kitchen but mm. Um, you have to watch this space, but there's some excellent creative that we're we're working on at the moment, and we're really really excited to to be able to share that in 2022.